before we get started, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, you'll get more videos from us, okay? Emphasize enough how important your, your feet are in back control, okay? We we'll call the hooks, okay? We, they're not just like, hanging out there and they're not crossed in most circumstances, okay? Uh, that'll put me at risk. Um, in the all levels class, okay, we're gonna go over lots more detail, lots more options, lots more uh, variety of different choices you have for submissions. In this class, we're gonna go over two main submissions and then two main escapes, okay? So, if I have his back, and this is kind of how we'll start for this one, okay, is we're gonna be kind of sitting like this, okay? I have my hooks in, okay? And I have my seat belt on, all right? So I'm like a backpack. Now, regardless of how much taller or shorter I am than him, I want to do my best to like stay kind of snuggled, right? I tell the kids like snuggle head. So I wanna be like this high. So if we fall over and I end up being, let's say turn this way a little bit, if I end up being way up, up here, he's gonna be able to escape a lot easier. Okay, so I wanna do my best to like stay snuggled with him, okay? So the two that we're gonna do today for this class is I'm gonna pull him to my overhook side, which means I have one over, one under, okay? I'm gonna give you a quick little tip as well. I always have my overhook side hidden, meaning when I have this, let's say I'm reversed and I have this hand on top. When he starts to fight this off, now I lost it all. But if I'm this way, he starts to fight off, he has to pull my top hand first. I still have the choke, okay? So I hide this hand. Now, just because he's my friend, I'm gonna show you I also <laughs> like this and make that super comfortable for him, yeah. right? So then we go for some nice friendly sternal rubs and stuff like that, okay? So those kind of, you need to see it again? Is that what you <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so we're here, okay guys? So we're grabbing and I'm pulling tight into my chest. And again, I'm using my legs really tight, okay? I'm not just kind of hanging out here, like letting him get rid of my legs. I'm super, oh, he's in trouble now, look at what I just did. I got his hand Okay, now he can't defend his neck. Okay, that's what you want, okay? So, here we go, we're starting. Hooks in, seat belt on, snuggle head, okay? First grip, I'm gonna go ahead and fall to the one side so you guys see what we're doing. Boom, here. Okay, I'm in this side. Now, one of the things that I really like to do is I grab this hand, because where is his hands gonna be? They're in my hands, right? They're like bothering me. So I take, I leave it under hooked, I grab the back of his hand, not his wrist, his hand, and I like do a little hapkido twist, push it down, and I trap it. Okay, and now I have one less hand to deal with. So I pinch my knee, keep that hooked, and now he's already in that pocket, okay? I'm gonna do what I can to get it under, under his chin. If I need to, I'll lift it, do, switch if I need to, go back and forth until I have my elbow right in front of his chin, all right? This hand now, I'm gonna sneak back here. If I try and grab my bicep and then do this, he's gonna, of course, grab my arm and not let me get that finish. So I get this, elbows in front of his chin, under his chin, I sneak this behind. You'll see my palm is facing me, because I'm gonna cut like this, like I'm chopping his head off, okay? Sneak this back. Now I hide my hand with my own head, so he can't get back there to get it. I don't want this if I, at all possible. He'll pull my hand off. I want it hidden and then hide it here. And now, typically when we first learn this, we tend to like pull backward. I don't wanna do that. I wanna roll him up like toothpaste, okay? Here, here, and I'm gonna push forward. So I push with my head, I pinch my elbows close together to collapse those carotid arteries, and then I roll him up like toothpaste, okay? So it's not just the compression of the arteries, but it's also the compression this way that adds to that uh, uncomfortable feeling of going to sleep, okay? Clear, good enough. You can do it from here, guys, okay? You take his hand, go deep, trap his arm, and I have it, okay? Some, one little quick addition I want to use, since he's right here, is what happens if I have a hard time and I can't get under his jaw? I take my little, as if I'm pulling a, a bow and arrow, I take that and I put it right under his ear. Oh. And now he's got my arm, go ahead. He got, I got halfway, oh, and I didn't get it. Okay? I lift a little bit. 
now where I'm at. Everybody see? Still not quite there. Still not quite there. Mother. Where's that video? Everybody got it? One more time. All right, so that's the first one, the rear naked choke, okay? Or the mata leo, like the lion killer, okay? That's where that is. Have this. And he starts to escape. A good escape for him is to move his hip out, okay? And he'll sit on my leg. Go ahead and come back. He'll sit on my leg, because if he doesn't, I'll just go to mount, okay? So a lot of times he sits on my leg, okay? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this hand, I'm gonna push, can you guys see what I'm doing here? I'm gonna take this collar and push it to this hand that's behind his head, okay? And I get a hold of it. And now, I take this foot and I just say, yeah, my leg, okay? And I get up. Now from here, I can step back over. Let's turn this way so that everybody can see, okay? I keep this elbow way back here, guys, okay? So I like this way back here, okay? Now, I wanna grab behind his knee. I don't wanna grab the pants if I can help it because he'll just kick that off and roll and escape, okay? So I get this grip if I can. And now, my right knee, my right leg is up high, like a pillow, right? Like, we're gonna put him to sleep anyway, so I might as well have something comfy, okay? My foot is up against his back because I'm gonna now create a little space so my foot's gonna come out and over the shoulder, okay? So my foot's tied up against his back. I wanna to lay towards my left side in this case, towards the legs. You'll see my foot comes out and over, trap that shoulder, cross my feet, and now I pull him like a bow and arrow. Okay, it's super comfy for him. Yeah, super, right? Super, okay. Oh, I'm good. All right, so <laughs> let's try that one more time, just for fun. Okay, <laughs> seatbelt. Boom, he starts to do a good escape. I push this collar to my other hand. It doesn't even have to be super deep, okay? As long as I have it. He can put his hand inside there for all I care, okay? I kick him off my leg if I need to. Back up, keep my elbow tight and behind him, okay? Don't let this happen. Then I don't have anything, okay? I need this back, okay? Step over, keep my elbow back. Hook that leg. Fall towards the leg so that my right foot can come out and over that shoulder. Okay. I like to cross in this case so that he can't peel that foot off and then continue to roll into me. Okay, so this is one of those things where I cross. And now keep this elbow back behind him. Pull, try and touch his knee to his head. And it works pretty perfect. Okay, all right, let's, I, I know this a lot. We're gonna quickly go through a couple of escapes though. Okay, now's your chance. So the first one you saw him do, <laughs> I love it, okay. So the first one you saw him kind of do, right? So this, whichever side we go to, he has attacks, I have escapes, okay? So if, let's say he does choose to go to that side, okay? I need to always, guys, always, what's the most important thing for me? Protect my neck, man, right? Protect my neck, don't let him get a good grip on my neck, okay? I'm gonna put my shoulder here. Now look, uh-oh, look at I gotta unwind the choke. You see what I did? No. That would have been useful. <laughs> so, he's being so nice to me. He's going, okay? So first thing, guys, that I'm trying to do is I am trying to get my bottom leg out. Now my top leg's not gonna help so much. I can try and clear the top leg. The bottom one's really gonna be the best. Um, I'm gonna show you another one from here in a second, but I need to kick this behind me. Now you see he doesn't really have a good hook, right? I step over it, okay? And now I try to put my head on top of him so he can't do the bow and arrow that I just showed you. Okay, so if I need to, I can hang on here, put my head across his back, and start walking, walking, clear, all my weight's on his belly. He can try and choke me all I want. Try and choke me, go, choke, choke. How much do I weigh? Oh. <laughs> Keep going. That sucks. <laughs> so he's not gonna be able to really choke me, and his, his life is miserable right now, okay? Everybody understand? So, without a partner, get to that side. Clear that leg, okay? Over, sit on it, okay? Don't let him go to mount, okay? I keep it, my head goes across his shoulder, and I start walking this direction until my weight stays on top of him, okay? Now, a, a sneaky little easy way to get out of all that is just to put my shoulder on the floor. Because he has this overhook, and we went to this side, if I put my back on the floor, now all I have to do is make sure he doesn't mount me. He's gonna try and get up, and all I gotta do is just, don't let him up. Don't let him, his leg across here. I can go to half guard. Everybody got that? That's a simple one. 
That was one A, one B. Okay, number two, baseball bat. He likes baseball bats. Okay, we're gonna grab here, and I'm gonna push, put on the other side of my head. Now choke me however you want, choke. Get a choke, come on, any choke, either hand. A choke, come on. <laughs> okay, so put on the wrong side, and he can't use, because his arm's this way, he can't get over to the other side to get you. Okay, so two hands on one. Top hand. Okay, two hands on one. Choke me. Go ahead, get it. Choke me. Arm warrior there. Now I can clear my bottom hook. Okay, go ahead, choke me. Come on. Choke me. Off guard. Way better than I was. Okay, sometimes. And you just, you're just going from really bad to a little less bad. And that's a win, right? Just go a little less bad, step by step, until you end up with a good spot, right? Clear, questions, two submissions, two and a half attack, uh, defenses rather. Good, let's go. One, two.